Hello everybody, it's Aaron. Welcome to another episode of Feed the Beast. What you see in front of you is a partially automated B-DNA collector thing. Um, you know, I talked about the, in the last episode, I wanted to make all this stuff in one chunk. And this is a chunk, and here is the boundary, or the start of the next chunk, I guess. Well, I had a, a pain, it was a pain, I had some problems. I set up the railcraft tanks over here, and didn't realize, or didn't take into account until later, that if I had pipes running into the next chunk, they might not stay loaded, and so nothing would really happen. So I moved them over, and then I remembered, oh, I'm going to have to run energy conduit as well. But I didn't feel like moving them yet. So basically, I just kind of snaked it around each other. So I'll give you the basic rundown on on how this, how this thing goes. I have railcraft tanks here because they hold more in a given area than the Zycraft tanks. Um, if I put a Zycraft tank here, it would only be, what is that, like three empty spaces. So it would only be like 48 buckets of whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. So in the same space, I get 720 with the Railcraft. So I went ahead and made a couple of those. I've got some liquid DNA. And there's no honey in this because... The analyzer has um, a buffer, I guess, or an internal storage. Excuse me. So I'm still doing a lot of this manually. I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to build a second floor. There's not really a floor here now, but I'm going to have to build um, a little platform to put the apiaries on. And I just got the Apiris pipes, probably like a half hour or an hour ago. And so I'm just kind of doing some testing. Uh, the way that they're set up now is that any bees go to white and anything goes to yellow. <clears throat> so when this finishes, fortunately Rocky Bees, well I don't know if it's fortunate or not, you only get a princess and a drone from the Rocky Bees. So there are no excess uh, drones but whatever comb they make it'll go this way and it'll get automatically put into the centrifuge and it's the same thing with these guys I figured I'd use the marble drones um, and it's the same kind of a setup just the different colors if you'd notice these guys stack and the rocky bees probably do too the drones do. Once this fills up, the excess bees are probably going to get shot down the line and end up in the chest here. Uh, when the combs come out of here, they come down, they go to the centrifuge, like I said, the wooden pipe pulls them out, and then the honey drops go down into the squeezer. And they get squeezed into the tank. I probably could have run it straight to the analyzer, uh, but it didn't occur to me and I'll have to move the analyzer over a block to do that or move this one over a block or use a wooden waterproof pipe but I figured <clears throat> excuse me since these guys are going to be running 24 7 even when I'm not here uh, whatever comb they make uh, if I'm not breeding or doing other things or analyzing whatever Hopefully I'll build up an excess of honey. So the honey drops go down in here. They get squeezed. Everything else goes up here. I forget which comb it was that gave me this. But it is... It, I don't... I found it somewhere, probably. Same with the, the crystalline pollen, which came from the wintry bee, I think. So that's one part of it. The other part is the analyzer here. I guess they're kind of connected. The, the analyzer, it takes the liquid honey. I feel so weird saying that. It's just honey. Yeah, just honey. The thing takes the honey. And if you put a bee in there, let's grab a regular old bee. Meadow bee. Uh, 
you know, they get analyzed and then the, they automatically get transported into the gene pool, which will melt them down into the liquid DNA. And if you recall, the analyzed bees give you more liquid DNA than the unanalyzed bees. So if I had a ton of bees, I wouldn't have to worry about this, but I figure, you know what, it's worth it for the little extra DNA. Um, so my, my master plan for this was, I'm still doing a little bit of testing with the apiaris pipe. Uh, I'm pretty sure when this fills up, any drones that get pumped out, since they can't go up, they'll go down since the green is closed. So they'll go down and the, the apiary probably won't stay right here. If it does, then this is going to be tricky. So it'll probably get moved. But basically, um, I'll have to split off the, the combs to go this way and the bees to go over here so they automatically get analyzed and then melt it into the gene pool. And like I said, since this will work 24 seven, even when I'm not around doing other things, um, hopefully I will at some point accumulate uh, an abundance of honey uh, to do whatever I need to do with it. I was hoping that would finish just now so that, um, yeah, there it goes. So those guys come out, they're all gonna go down into the centrifuge and then all the bees are going to go back up. And I'm pretty sure if I had a different drone right here, whatever drones got pulled would go down the pipe. And I may have to try that a little later. So, I've been manually, manually breeding some of these guys too. Because I, I need to get certain things before I can do certain other things. I need royal jelly and I need pollen uh, to progress. So basically what I have to do is I have to do the common branch, the noble branch, and the industrious branch. You have to do the common before you can do the other two. And they kind of like, like you know, it's a branch, so, you know, it goes both ways. But so like I said in the last episode, I'm pretty sure I ran it down, but I actually verified it since then. Um, I put a meadow with a forest, doesn't matter which is which, and that will give you a common. And then you put a common with a forest or a meadows, and you have a, a, a chance of getting cultivated. Uh, if you do common and cultivated, you have a 10% chance equally of getting either noble or diligent. Noble is with the noble branch, diligent is with the industrious branch. Uh, and then once you get your diligent or noble bee, you put it then with a cultivated and then you go down the line. Um, it's on the wiki, the information that I'm reading, and it's basically the same that I went by last time. But I, I, I did it so much I remembered most of it anyway. So uh, I'm doing these guys manually because I'm not really sure how the apiarist pipe handles when you're trying to breed for uh, mutations or whatever. And somebody said something about soul frames, which I'll get to eventually. Uh, but in the beginning here, I'm just trying to, you know, just get going. Let me go ahead and clear all these guys out. Uh, unfortunately, they don't stack, but, you know, no big deal. Uh, when you squeeze the honey the honey drop I guess there's a percentage chance that you get propolis I didn't feel the need to put a buildcraft pipe on here because it's such a low percentage and I'm over here enough that not really an issue and eventually um, whatever comb we centrifuge will give us that so it'll just end up in the chest over here with all this other stuff So at some point down the line, once I get to like the end of the line with the um, with whatever branches I'm working on, uh, 
once I get the Imperial and Industrious Bees, uh, what I would like to do is um, have an apiary for each one of those with kind of like this setup. Um, an apiary for each with an apiarious pipe on the bottom. And basically I just want to breed them over and over and over again to get the just the um, the byproducts, whatever they manufacture, whatever type of comb it is, or royal jelly, or pollen, or whatever. So, like I said, I'm not that familiar with this pipe, but you can have them sort, you know, drones, princesses, queens, purebred bees, nocturnal, whatever. So, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this, and then if you do it like that, like, I don't know... You know, if like if I say, let's clear this out. If I say any bees and I do forest here and meadows here, I don't know if that means um, forest princess meadows drone or like I'm not really sure how that works. So it's possible these are really expensive they take one piece of diamond pipe and two pieces of propolis um, it's conceivable that you could use one apiarist pipe to filter for more than one apiary and once I can make another one or once I move these I might work on that but I'm gonna have to do a little bit of testing and it's gonna be some trial and error so that's what's happening with my bees, or our bees, or whosoever bees they are. Slowly but surely, we're getting where we need to go, but it's like a 10% chance or less of getting the bees that we need to get to get to the end of the branch. So <clears throat> it's just one of those things. It takes some time. So uh, I'm really not going to get that much more into it unless I eventually uh, come up with a system to, to get everything streamlined and automated so that we don't have to mess with it and the bees just do whatever they're going to do. Uh, once I'm able to make the advanced machines, those are actually more of um, a manual thing. I'm sure you can automate part of them, but, uh, you know... You have to apply your own logic when it comes to when you get a bee trait, whether you want to keep it or put it on a bee or discard it or cook it up so you can get a different one or whatever. So uh, the other machines, a lot of them are going to need genetic material. So uh, I'll probably just put them over here and then we can, you know, do whatever we need to do with them. But this will all be enclosed and... Uh, like I said, I'll have the little platform and the apiaries will be probably upstairs, except for a couple of cave ones. I think the rocky bees are cave dwellers. I don't know if I have one to, to be allies right now. I'm pretty sure they are. So I could have a couple of apiaries down here, or quite a few actually, with um, with rocky bees in them. If they all run the same cycle, I could have like four of them in a row and have uh, gates pull all the bees out and then have the apiaries pipe send the bees like back down the row so that uh, a princess and a drone will go in each and then all the combs and stuff go to the centrifuge. Kind of a way to um, mass produce combs, if you will, if that's even possible. I'm sure it probably is once you have an alveary, but like I said, that's pretty far away. Um, so that is what's happening with bees. How long have I been recording? 14 minutes. So I really didn't have a lot else. Um, I've got to do a, a bunch of things to get this going. And like I said, it's really time consuming. So... The other thing is, there's no wisp, wisp spawner at that thing, but they keep coming around here bugging me. So I may have to, um, you know, put a glass case around the top layer or something. I thought about making like a pyramid, 
had half a mind to use the filler to do that, but I didn't want it to fill in where I don't want it to. <laughs> uh, cause then I'd have to dig it all out and I don't want to do that. And these guys are producing combs too. I've just been manually throwing them over there in the centrifuge. So it's basically a lot of repetition. I've just been doing that over and over again. And you know, you do it so many times that you don't even think about it. You just put one color with another color and you know that they go together to get what you want. And then once you get what you wanted, then you look it up to find out what you need to do with it to get what you want next time. So if you guys have any tips or tricks for this besides, you know, frames and stuff, uh, please leave me some comments. Um, I only just started getting into bees before I switched over to the ultimate pack. So, um, I really only know, oh, look, is this, is this going to have something in it? No, but that's full. So that's good. So we're almost getting some surplus honey. Um, but yeah, please leave me some comments. If you have any tips or tricks for, for this, I'm going to start looking into what it takes to get, you know, some of the other branches. Like I have some watery bees I want to do. Uh, I definitely want to do, let me look over here. Um, I want to do the tropical bees, but I'm not going to be able to do them here. I'll probably go ahead and find a place in the jungle and make a link book there just and hop back and forth and, you know, see what's happening. But I was hoping to take one of their traits. Um, you know, they give you the silky comb that you get the silk wisp from. I was hoping to like identify one of their, like identify that trait and like put it on an industrious bee. So it would make um, pollen, stringy comb and silky comb. So I could just have like, I mean, eventually one super bee to do it all. That would be sweet, but um, I don't even know if that's possible, but that would be pretty awesome. Uh, if you go down the tropical branch, the Edenic bee produces XP. So look at that XP farm. If you get like, you know, 12 pairs of those going, maybe that would do something. So bees are cooler than I thought. But I didn't know really, I didn't really know how cool they were. So if you guys have any comments or suggestions for this, uh, please leave me some comments. I think that'll do it for this episode. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, though I would just have to do the research on it. So maybe one of my other awesome viewers can answer the question for you. So that'll do it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.